Well, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thanks for having this hearing. I appreciate the opportunity to once again uh, talk about this legislation. It's been introduced in each of the Congresses in the last six years. It's been bipartisan. Um, I want to thank Senator Heidkamp for being uh, a partner on this effort and uh, for her hard work on it. She added a lot of ideas. We spent a few months working on this together. Uh, she made it better, in my view. Uh, one of her ideas was a retrospective review bill, which uh, includes an automatic 10-year look back for major rules. Uh, she also included a provision in the bill that is called the Savings Clause, which uh, makes sure that uh, it would not supersede any rulemaking process that's specified in an authorizing statute. So if an authorizing statute has a rulemaking process, uh, that would prevail. And uh, I think that improved the legislation and clarified some things, and, and I appreciated uh, uh, her working with me on, on all these issues. Uh, this is a big deal because it's the first update to the uh, Administrative Procedures Act in about 70 years. I mean, it's needed. It codifies a lot of rules that all of us agree with uh, that have been in the uh, administration since Ronald Reagan that deal with cost-benefit analysis. So it's really codifying, putting in statute a lot of the, the basic uh, cost-benefit that, that President Obama, uh, back to President Reagan, uh, President Reagan uh, had in the administration through an executive order. Uh, but it does more than that. It also makes regulations more cost effective. It says, hey, look, if you're going to have a congressional objective, let's achieve it, <clears throat> but let's achieve it in, in a cost effective way, which uh, all of us know regulations are necessary, but we need to do it in, in a smarter way. It also makes the regulatory process more accountable to the public, which I think Republicans and Democrats alike should support. And, and when I talk to my, my colleagues on both sides, do support. And I think that's a really important part of it. It also ensures that the regulators use better information. So we use the best science, use the best economic data. This is common sense uh, legislation. Again, it's always been bipartisan. It's bipartisan today. I would urge my colleagues to support it. Let's at least get this to the floor and be able to have a debate on this. And, um, you know, Senator Heitkamp and I, I think you'll find are open to your suggestions and comments. We certainly have been over the last few months where we've reached out to a lot of you. Um, and I know the House will take it up if we take it up. They pass legislation that's a little bit different in the House, but they also know that. Uh, getting something done here is important. So I think this is a great opportunity, Mr. Chairman, to break through some of the gridlock around here and actually uh, along the lines of what you talk about a lot, uh, get something done that will make a difference in people's lives. And uh, so I urge my colleagues to join Senator Heidkamp and me in supporting the Regulatory Accountability Act today.